Good morning students. Today we are going to talk about the microscope which is a subtopic in the fundamental unit of life. Before starting this topic, let me briefly revise what we have discussed in the previous lecture. In the previous lecture of fundamental unit of life which is the cell and in that lecture we have just studied the brief introduction about the cell like what is the cell who discovered cell protoplasm who discovered protoplasm etc now today we are going to talk about microscope okay now question arises why we are studying microscope microscope is basically an instrument which magnifies and because of its magnification we can easily observe and study the very minute things which cannot be easily observed and seen with the naked eyes so the fundamental of unit of life which is a cell the basic structural and functional unit of any living organism is generally very small in size generally it is of uh, the the unit of uh, measurement of a cell is generally in nanometers which is a very very small unit and these small structures which are the cells cannot be easily seen with the naked eyes so we need the help of an instrument so that helping or aiding instrument is the microscope so what is a microscope it's an instrument to study minute or very tiny objects which cannot be seen with the naked eyes or hand lens microscope generally magnifies the object magnifies means it enlarges that object so that we can now easily see it and observe it and study it it magnifies the object now there are various types of the microscope but the but the microscope that we are going to study is the compound microscope and a compound microscope can be generally defined as a microscope which has more than one lens there are also simple microscopes which usually have one lens so you can also say that microscope is a system of uh, uh, lenses which magnifies the object at such a level which can be easily observed with our eyes so a compound microscope has more than one lens regarding its discovery the first compound microscope was discovered by or built by f jensen and z jensen in 1590 now let us discuss the structure of compound microscope because uh, it is the type of microscope which is easily available and can be seen in the uh, school laboratories college lab laboratories etc so it is a commonly visible microscope if we talk about the structure of a compound microscope its main body or the upper tubular body is called as the body tube and this body tube has magnifying lenses at both of its end now the body tube which is the tubular cylindrical hollow part has two lenses at both the end has two lenses one at each of the ends and these are called as the eye piece and the objectives the upper end has the lens called as the eye piece from where we observe the object and the lower end has the lens which is called as the objectives where we keep the object to be studied so upper end has eye piece and the lower end as i said earlier has the objective lenses and generally 
at the lower end two or three magnifying lenses are present which are having different magnification powers so at the lower end there are two to three magnifying lenses and these lenses are called as the objectives remember one thing that these two to three objectives have different magnification powers say for example one can be of 10x other can be of 45x and if we talk about the eyepiece generally at the upper end uh, there is only a single lens present so that can be of power 10x 5x or 15x that can vary but at one time we have single eyepiece now near the objective lens there is a stage where we place the object to be studied and then the light is focused on that object through the mirror and when the light passes through that object we can see the magnified view of the object through the eyepiece so we can see a diagrammatic representation of the compound microscope which is commonly used in the schools here is an outline of that microscope this cylindrical or tubular structure is called as the body tube and it has two ends as we can see in the figure and at both the ends are present the lenses system of lenses at the upper end is present the eyepiece and at the lower end three or three uh, three or two different lenses are present and all these are called as the objectives and these objectives have different magnification powers near the objective is present a structure which is called as the stage on which we place our object to be studied it is a square hood like structure which has an opening in center for the entry of light and here we place our slide to be viewed the body tube is connected to the stage through a handle on an, on this handle we have knobs for the adjustment through which we can move the stage up and down and also we can move the lenses through slightly so they can so that we can find adjust the view as per our convenience then we have the stand and at the base of the microscope we have the mirror with the help of this mirror we focus the light on the object so this is the body tube this is the eyepiece from where we observe or we, we can see we keep our eye on this lens and we observe the object to be studied these are the objectives here i am showing three different lenses objective lenses with the different magnification powers objective is the lens which is placed near the object to be studied so from the name we can clearly understand where the lens is located so from the upper end of the tube we observe the object and the lower end of the tube has lenses which are placed near the object therefore they are called as objective near objective is placed the stage or the hood where we keep our object to be studied this is the slide in which we place our object glass slide is a it is a thin glass slide rectangular in shape and on this slide we glass slide we place our object say for example a, a peel of onion or a thin section of cork and we keep that object in this on this slide and keep it on the stage and now as per our requirement we take the magnification desired objective lens and then by focusing the light through the mirror we can observe the magnified view of the object say for example onion peel or the cork slice through this eyepiece we also have the adjustments like coarse and the fine through which we can move the stage and adjust the view so this is the outline of a simple not simple exactly it is a simple type of compound microscope 
that is easily available in the schools. But in the highly developed private research centers or uh, government research and development centers or laboratories, we have much more developed microscopes which are and one such example is the electron microscope. The electron microscope is a bit different, not bit, it is slightly different from the compound microscope in the sense that uh, it has very much high magnification power in comparison to the compound microscope. So I am just writing out the differences between the two. The electron microscope is used in highly developed laboratories. So it is a very highly developed type of microscope. used in the highly developed or big government and private research centers for research and development purpose and it was discovered or it was built by Noll and Ruska. So it was designed by Noll and Ruska in 1932. Both were German scientists and the electron microscope is highly useful in study of the very fine structure or we can say ultra structure of cell and the cell organelle. It has much higher magnification power in comparison to the compound microscope. And the source of illumination in case of electron microscope is the beam of electron. Whereas in case of compound microscope, the source of illumination is the light, normal light or sunlight. And the lenses used in case of electron microscope are the electromagnetic lenses. Whereas in case of compound microscope, simple glass lenses are used. So these are the few differences between the compound microscope and the electron microscope. Remember, it is not easily seen in the schools or college laboratories because it is a highly developed type of microscope. So this is all for the about the microscope which is used to study or which is an aid or help to study the very minute structures or fundamental unit of lives that is the cell. Have a good day.